Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. Yep, still stuffy. So I don't sound like an alien for no reason. For any new subscribers who are like, why she sound like that? I have a sinus code. So it is what it is. But anyway, this is a review of Empire Season 4, Episode 4. It was a good episode. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, Lee Daniels. It was a couple things I was like, what's going on around here? But, you know, everything worked out for the most part in it from beginning to end. The episode starts off where it kind of where it left off last episode where Lucius was asking Cookie what happened, you know, about her going to prison and everything like that. So, as we see, they have been up all night talking because now the sun's coming up. And, you know, Cookie was talking about how when she was in jail, she had befriended the girl Candy and all the Boston girls. Boston? No, Philly. All the Philly girls... You know, how certain cliques got along with certain cliques and certain other people didn't get, get along with other people. Just like the world, you know. And that's how I would guess prison is, you know. Um, some people stick together. Some people don't. Um, so, you know, it was what it was. She brings up how was a girl named Pound Cake who, you know, didn't get along with their little crew. And Pound Cake came in and saw Cookie and them watching 106 in part. I'm like, they really re... They really had an old episode of One Six and Park and put Lucius, you know, smack dab on the stage. Okay, we're going you know, back in the AJ and Free days. So, you know, Cookie and them was watching that while she's in prison. She all smiling and happy because, you know what I'm saying? She's like, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? And Pound Cake ass come in and she looking, she looking like, oh, this is what you watching? Turn the channel. And then next thing you know, Family Guy on and Peter fight with the goddamn on big old chicken. I'm looking like, oh, they play Family Guy? Okay. Okay, we see what it is. But I'm wondering, was Family Guy on back in the day? Because I was Family Guy on back then? Because, you know, Cookie and it was going, it was went away back in the, like, 80s, early 90s. Who knows? Whatever. But it went to <laughs> the Family Guy, and Peter was like with that big-ass chicken. And, you know, for some reason, Cookie was like, you know what? <sighs> I don't like this. I want to keep watching my man. She goes to Pound Cake like, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to your set, but I need you to have them put the TV back on what I was watching. She's like, I ain't going to do nothing. And Cookie swung on her. And then the whole fight broke out where everybody crew versus everybody crew. You know what I'm saying? Cookie got one good punch in, but Big Mama Pound Cake, you know what I'm saying? Got down on the ground and was beating her up and stuff. And then said, you know, you know why they call me Pound Cake? Because I'm used to something. I don't about beating bitches up or no, because I'm in here for eating bitches like you. I'm looking like, so is that a gay reference? Or are you a carnival? Like, which one, which one is we talking, uh, I know a cannibal. Which one are we talking about? I need to know. And she then pulls out a razor out of her mouth, which we know that's a thing some people do. You keep a razor in your mouth, so when you fight, you can just flip it out and then there it is. And that's what she did. And she went to slice, I'm looking like Cookie got a scar we don't know about? And she ended up slicing Cookie's hand because when the girl looked like her face, she held her hand up. So Lucius is like, oh my God, you know, that's crazy. I can't believe you went through all that. She was like, you know, it wasn't my first fight. It wasn't my last, it wasn't my last fight. You know, I knew I was going to be in there for a long haul. And, you know, it's then the scene showing her trying to put makeup on her face. The guard come in like, that's contraband. Get that off your face. Can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Go see your man bare face. And she go out and see Lucius because he's there visiting. And he was talking to the cop, went to the correctional office. Like, you know what I'm saying? Good looking out. I'm glad you can handle that for me. I'm like, handle what? They ain't help Cookie once she got into a fight. Her ass got beat up and cut. They ain't do nothing. And when he see her face, of course, he's upset. Like, what happened to her? What happened to her? Calm down, Lucius. Calm down, bro. Because you can't do shit from where you at. And she's like, you know, we ain't got that much time. You know, let's not focus on that. I'm okay. You know, I can handle myself in here. As long as I know you out there handling our empire, you build it what it's supposed that you're building it to what it's supposed to be. So, you know, he was saying how Andre was a little different and how Jamal wanted to come see her. And first she was like, No, that's not a that's not a place for kids. But if you want to come see me, that's cool. Lucius in real time then says, I remember that. I brought him up there the next time. And she was like, Yeah, so it's his memory of him sitting in the waiting area and Jamal walking to the back. Um, with Cookie. And he was like, but wait. I didn't come back there to see you? And then she was like, no. Um, I guess it was just too hard for you to see me in there. And he was like, you know, if he loved you, he would have done more for you. You know, he would have been there. And she's like, who was he? And he was like, me. Lu Lucius. You know, 
I, I should have took it taken care of. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this better. You know, I'm going to make everything I did wrong right. And she's like, well, you can't do that because you don't even remember what you did wrong. And he's like, well, I can't, you know, fix the past, but I can fix the, the current times or whatever. I'm going to go with you to Empire to, you know, be with you for the day to try to help. And so she's like, okay. But guess who then walks in? Claudia monkey ass. I do not like Claudia. And I don't know if I don't like Claudia because the role is being played by Demi Moore. And I'm not feeling Demi Moore in this role only because she looks too sneaky like it's too in my face she up to something I wish she was more of a surprise you know what I'm saying and for that reason I just don't like her character I don't and I think it's because I don't like her playing the character again I'm all for famous people so to speak guest starring but certain famous people i don't want to see on this show on a weekly basis i know that's crazy to say but i don't um i just wish it was somebody else i mean when it was like a guest starring role last season on the end i'm like okay cool but i'm like now you on the next season too i don't want to see Debbie more that much i don't i know that sounds crazy but it's just my opinion um so from there and I'm like, go away, Claudia. Let's go away. Go by. Go somewhere. So, you know, next Lucius is at Empire. And he walk in. They are Lucius. Lucius, yeah, Lucius. And they clapping and hoo ha and all that stuff. And, you know, Becky run up. Lucius. Because, of course, no one knows he don't have a damn memory. And I don't know why they trying to keep it a secret. I mean, because it's not like if they know he's sick, Cookie can't do what she doing. I don't know. It's, but I guess, you know, it's, it's a story. Anywho, so, you know, of course, he don't remember Becky, but Ken, like, Cookie's like, yeah, Becky got a, pr a promotion at the audit time working as your assistant, so she's kind of feeding him information so he can at least say, oh, hey, Becky, you know, good job, you know, so whatever, and she's happy to see him, and of course, no one knows he doesn't have a memory. Um, we see that flowers are delivered to Andre, and it just says, like, for tomorrow or something, and they're like, what's happening tomorrow? He's like, I don't know man your business because he don't know who the flowers are from either um you know the cookie is telling them andre and jamal i need y'all help with y'all father today because he's gonna be here and we got to keep things you know cool or whatever and you know so it's that whole thing and portia walk up he didn't remember portia either but cookie talking to jamal and them so it's a whole different thing find out that hakeem is at the house where him and anika is planning bella's birthday party i'm like do it take that many people to plan a birthday party but you know it is what it is um so, the next thing we see, uh, we see, like, Anika shopping, um, at a store. And, no, before that, we see, you know, Miss Dubois is meeting with her two sons, you know, Ali, Alejandro, Lord Jesus, Angelo, and Warren. And Warren is like, yeah, you know, Lucius lost his memory. He had his traumatic brain injury. He doesn't remember his family. He treats his nurse like his family, his family like strangers. And she's like, really? That's just so interesting. Uh, nah, nah, nah. And then, you know, of course, and like, oh, so you, how you know what Jamal said is, you know, it's the right thing. How you know he's not lying, so you're not getting played. He's like, because when I sleep with the lion, I get the good. So I'm like, that was so extra to say. And I was just like, okay, whatever, Warren. And, you know, Mama Dubois is like, you know, Angelo, you got to get in this game and figure out what you're going to do. So, we did see Anika shopping for the baby birthday party. And who does she run into? Or who runs into her? Angelo ass. And he like, you know, uh, last I saw you, you was at our house. You never saying praising my mom. She's like, yeah, but your mama left me in prison for five months so she can kiss my ass. And, you know, he like, well, look, do you really trust them? You know, they're nice to you for some time, but eventually they always end up, you know, protecting their family over anyone else. So if you ever need some help, you know, he slaps his car into the back. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Give me a call. And then he walks off. Mm-hmm. So, back at the studio, we see Hakeem was performing that song, uh, Shut Up, or something. I don't like the song. I don't. I like the first verse, you know, like, Be My Chest King Kong. I like the beat. I think the beat is cool. I didn't like his lyrics. When he was rapping this part today, I was like, um, I don't like it that much. You know what I'm saying? But I see how you like it. But I don't know if I like it all the way. I gotta call my girl we'll be back. Um, so Lucia's a court. No, they're like, okay, Hakeem. Because Becky in there, and she's like, that wasn't the song that you were supposed to be working on. She's like, yeah, but he's like, well, yeah, but this is kind of what was in my bones to do. Don't y'all like it? And they're like, yeah, boy, 
go ahead on, you know, get out, we're gonna talk about it or whatever. So when Cookie is talking to Lucius, and Lucius is like, I don't like the content of the song. Um, and he's like, you know, it's just kind of crazy. So he was like, well, he was really enthused rapping it. And Becky then's like, yeah, Lucius, remember that one time you said blah, 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 blah? And then, of course, he don't. And so they all kind of looking around, and he was like, no, Andre was like, no, Pop, remember when you said you was going to have it be like this? And then he's like, yeah, 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 talk about it. And then Andre comes up to where, you know, back in the day, they had a whole thing where each artist um, battled it out for the top the top spot. So they're going to have like a competition. Who else? Is this? Hold on. Wait a minute. Lee Daniels, why, how you had the same premise on Star that you have on Empire? You got Ayana, got her group, people, label people, fight for the top spot, and not, that's it. How you doing the same? We have been hoodwinked and bamboozled. It's the same, I mean, I, as I was saying this, I'm like, I just said this somewhere else. It was on Star last week. Come on now, come on now, Lee, Lee, Lee. <coughs> Sorry. You can't be recycling um, storylines and have them playing simultaneously, simultaneously on two shows that come on on the same night. Come on now. You can't do that to us. I'm, I just, I am appalled. Oh, God. Anyway, so that's the thing. They're going to have the artists on the label go head for head who has the top spot to get the, to, to, to launch the 2020. It's the same goddamn gone thing. We ever just figure out you've been hooked with the mambos and you get offended? I'm offended. Oh my God, Lee Daniels, I can't believe you would do that. So the next thing that we see is all the artists are in, in, in one room. Jamal like, I ain't fighting for no one number one spot. Y'all can have this. I'm out. I came like, I gave you high fire. She like, boy, that wasn't it. Nope, you gotta, you know, you, you ain't it either. All y'all have to show me what y'all have. Put y'all all into it so we can see who going to get this top spot to launch the whole 20 for 20. I still was like, whatever. Um, you know, Claudia like, you know, this might be too much for Dwight. She like, man, kill all that noise. You said that we have to give him the right to choose where he wants to be. He wants to be here today, so he's going to be here. If you don't like it, you can go home and do whatever else you're going to do. So, Claudia, she does go home. You know, a couple people come out to perform. They had Tiana perform first. I didn't like her performance. I didn't. Even Lucia said... You know what I'm saying? She was shaking her tree branches, but she ain't the root. She not. Um, I don't know if they're trying to have Tiana not be as good as she was the first two seasons or whatever. She's like a B character now. I don't like that. I think she's a very talented girl. I think they could have made her performance or song be much more than like a striptease type uh, audition or whatever. So yeah, I didn't like that. Um, Tori come in, you know, Tori who was Demi Moore's daughter, Rumor Willis, um, and Cookie, before she could even sing a song, he like, nope, the first person to launch this would not be a white girl. You know, you gotta go. And Lucia's like, that's, I don't think that's right. And she's like, you know what, son, you gonna, you know, talk about reverse affirmative action? No, she not it. She gotta go. So Lucia's is seeing how Cookie is acting in work mode, and he kind of don't like it a little bit. Um... So, they have a couple of singers who come on. This one singer starts singing and something. They like it. But another person come out and punch him in the face because the boy stole his his, his, his music. It's that whole, it was just craziness. And then one guy comes out and he's... No. Cookie was talking to a girl who was singing. And she was just being cookie. You know what I'm saying? Being very blunt and very, like, whatever. Cutthroat. And Lucius is like, you know... I feel like you hurt people's feelings. You know, you're not being nice. And she like, you know, we don't have time to be nice. Be on the deadline. You know, we don't have time for all that. So the next thing, come on, it's the guy. He's singing. He did all good or whatever. Lucia's like, I felt you. You know, you sounded like bluebirds. And my, this, he gave a whole, and you, just a whole thing of expression of what he was. But said, but you also feel sad. Are you, are you sad? Are you going through some things? And he like, yeah. My, bro my brother got shot a couple days ago. What? Where did it come from? What happened? And Lee like, you know, was he going to make it? Like, we don't know, but I'm just here, you know, trying to do it. Lucius then say, you should be at home with your family. You know, you shouldn't be here. You know, go home to your family, check on your family, and when everything is, on, you know, better, you can come back here, and we will uh, see you. Sorry. And we will see you then. And Cookie like, 
but he just kicked his boy for stage to a tour good. He could have been fame. You know, he was definitely the alpha, as they kept on calling it. And when the guy leaves, she's like, what was that? And he was like, you know, I've been here all day, and I've been watching you. Well, I'm talking like him. And, you know, I thought I was here to help you heal from your pain, but you use it to fuel yourself. And she was like, you know, whatever. That boy was here, and he was using his pain. That was his fuel, too. And she was like, you know, you watching me be you, basically. And if you don't like it, you know what I'm saying, you can just go ahead and go home. And I'm like, okay, Cookie. Okay. It was it was a thing of she was being herself. True. But she didn't realize how her being herself is viewed by Dwight. Because Cookie is a lot to handle. And she wasn't taking into account how he was feeling. And he wasn't taking into account... They wasn't taking into account how the other one was feeling, basically. That's basically what it was. So, you know, there's a point where, you know, Lucian goes to talk to Dre. Or you want to go see Dre for some reason. And, you know, he's like, you know, I can't hear what she sees and she can't see what I hear. So, our signals are crossed. So I'm just going to go home. I was coming to say bye. Um, so, he's like, okay, well, I'll take you to go see him. You know, we get you on home or whatever. In the meantime, we see... Jamal, not in the studio with Tori, like, I'm not going to audition, I'm about the audition line, plus I don't have any music to audition anyway. And then, which is crazy, because he's a goddamn artist. So Tori's like, what about that song I heard you singing the other day about love? He's like, no, that was about drugs. And she's like, yeah, well, love can be a drug. And then they, my thought of brainstorming, it's like, oh, we can do a duet. I wasn't here for it, but you know, they tried for it. Um, he then goes to talk about how he thinks Warren, Mrs. Dubois' son, could be his one. The same way Cookie was the one for Lucius. And he's like, you know, when I see him, they're kind of love. I don't want to settle for anything less than, you know, the the one that I'm supposed to be with. I think that could be Warren. You wrong, boy. You was wrong. Uh, because Warren is playing your ass like a fiddle. And when you find out, I don't want to be no, oh my God, at first when I met you, I was playing you. But I fell in love with you. And now we're going to be together. No, I don't want to see that. Um, five minutes, what am I doing? So, uh, but from there, oh, something new is in my eye. Oh my God. I tried to pause it and it didn't work. I just almost got blinded. Lord Jesus. I'm like, what is going on? I think like a hair fell in my eye and it was going crazy. So, I don't remember where I left off at. I know I was saying how Warren is playing Jamal. So, we're going to say, yeah, Warren's playing Jamal. And he ain't the one. Uh, so, next, we see Lucius and Andre walk into the office. Oh, my God. And Anika is in there because, of course, they are planning um, Bella's Hall uh, Halloween party. Bella's birthday party. And... They kind of like, oh, shit. Because I don't think, I don't know if Andre has seen Anika since she's been out of jail. Because, again, remember, Andre tried to kill Anika ass because he remembered that she killed Rhonda. Um, so when Andre and Lucius both walk in and Anika's in there, and Anika does not know that Lucius has lost his memory either. Because he's like, Lucius, Anika's here. She's here to help plan her, her daughter's, your granddaughter, Bella's birthday party. And they, of course, try to rem remind him who certain people are. And he's like, oh, hi, Anika. It's so good to meet you. And then she was like, hey. And then, you know, she brings up how, you know, she didn't, how he didn't come see, see her in prison. How she wished she could have visited him in the hospital. And he's like, she was in prison, too. And she, Cookie was like, no, she was in jail. It's a big difference. You know, it, but they're trying to get them apart. Because Anika, as you know, is Anika. And... She then brings up how she was in jail and how it was Lucia's fault that she was in jail, how he tried to, you know, fool her with a sham marriage and all that stuff. And then he's like, you know, whatever I did to you, you know, I'm so, so sorry. You know, I truly apologize. And she's like, a genuine apology. You know, what is this, a trick? Is this, you know, when you rip my baby out of my arms or is this, you know, and Andre pissed off. He like... Who who gives you the right to, you know, judge somebody after what you did? And he is exploding. And for me, I'm looking like that's a powerful thing because, again, remember, Anika in real life is his wife. And I'm like, okay, was y'all at home role playing? Would you tell him, like, look, you know, I need you to go off on me real quick so we can get this scene together. 
you know, he's just, he's upset. He flips out. He's like, who are you to judge? You know, you, do I need to remind you what you did? People forget that. And this is what he then brings up. I'm so tired I'm scratching my eye, people. But you know what I'm saying? Life happens. Um, that the same day that Bella was born and they're planning Bella's birthday party, it's the same day that, uh... Why did I just forget her name? Rhonda. Lord Jesus. That Rhonda, his wife, was killed by a nigga. He's like, you know, y'all, this family loves hiding secrets. And because of that, you know, she's, my wife's murderer got off scot-free. And so Lucia's looking like, so you killed his wife and they covered it up in the same day that the baby, it was all kind of clicking in his head. And he was like, you know, my wife, he's like, Pop, you know, you, we've been walking on eggshells. You want to know how my wife died? My wife died screaming. She died screaming and all her bones and her body was broken. And the last face she saw before she died was that woman. And pointed to Anika. And Anika is like cowering in the little corner, you know, hovering over Bella's stroller. Because, uh, of course, Bella is sleeping. But Andre put the fear of God in her ass. Okay? Yes, he did. And he needs to because, again, well, they all didn't do things wrong. You know, yeah. I think all of them has a point where they've been involved in some kind of murder. Um... So, um, he's, of course, he's pissed off. So, Dre and Lucia's like, just calm down, Dre. Just calm, I mean, uh, Hakeem and uh, Lucia's, calm down, Dre. Just breathe, you know. And then Lucia's like, just imagine yourself expressing your feelings all over the room. Just calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> I'm not Lucia's in these little quotes for how to calm people down and stuff. And... You know, he's like, you know, my family is rotting in the ground right now. And she and her playing her baby's birthday party. Which is true. So, they all been talking about Bella's birthday party. But no one is saying the same day Bella Ann was born. It's the same day his wife died and was killed by Bella's mother. And he, of course, just doesn't like that. So, from there, we see, you know, of course, it goes on commercial. So, then we see Cookie go home. And into Claudia's room. And she's like, you were right. I was, I was wrong. Cookie, why did you do that? Why didn't you just shut up? No. You know, they then say how, you know, Lucius came home. He was a bit wound up from all the information. And it might have been too much for him. And then she's like, but I read the book you gave me. And the book mentioned something about a person's crossroad memory, which is like where they, them but now and before meets and ends and everything. She's like, so I think I know what his crossroad is. And I think I'm going to take him to it to, you know, get him over this little hump. And Claudia like, no, you know, that might be too much, you know. It's not time to do that yet. We should wait off on doing that. But tell me what the crossroad is. And I'm yelling to my screen, don't do it, Cookie. Shut up, Cookie. Shut up, Cookie, and don't do it. But Cookie don't shut up. And she tells her anyway. She says, I think that the, the crossroad for him is this lion statue. It's the place where he slept for the first time when he was a kid when he was homeless. And when he woke up, he looked up at it, and that's when he became Lucius Lion. Um, he went from Mendy White to Lucius, so I think that's going to be his crossword point. And I'm like, why the fuck did you tell Claudia that shit? Why are you, uh, Cookie, you was in prison for 17 years. You don't know where not to trust people? No. Girl, I don't know why. So, um, next we see, you know, Jamal was, at one point he was at, at home singing a song with Warren, talking about, yeah, the song is about love. He like, love? And he was like, yeah, they don't call it making like. I'm making like to you and Warren making love. Okay, if you say so. So, you know, Cookie and them at the audition thing and Tori come in and she's like, girl, I told your ass you wasn't the one. Why is you here? And she's like, just listen to the song, you know, it's going to be good. Jamal I walk in, he's like, all right, mom, I'm here. Tori, I know we did the song, but I took your voice off of it. And she like, what? And he was like, you know, if I'm going to do the song about love, I need to do it the right way and how it's going to be. I need to sing it with a man. I'm looking like, okay. Yeah, we're going to see where this one goes. And she, y'all are crazy. I'm leaving. And she leaves and everything. Then, you know, Warren come in. And Becky like, what is he doing here? And she's like, calm down, Becky. You know he can sing. And she was like, barely. And then Jamal and Warren sing this How They In Love song and everything. And it's also soulful. And they sound great. But Warren ain't shit. Warren playing the whole family. And this is how I feel like they're going to have the whole thing of Warren changing his mind. Warren ain't going to really want to keep going against the family. Warren's going to really fall in love with Jamal. <sighs> okay, I can see that coming down the pipeline. That see, 
this I'm a writer, so when I see stuff, I can kind of just I can see stuff. So, but of course, that's singing a song. Cookie loves it. Oh yeah, sing, baby, sing. Okay, so she loved it. It is what it is. Um, there's a scene of Mr. Dubois. And, wait, is this on this episode? Or next episode. This episode. So yeah, Mr. Du was it? Yeah, it was. I couldn't remember. I, I don't like spoiling stuff. So I gotta be sure when I'm remembering something if I'm thinking something from this episode or the next episode. But anyway, so after that whole thing, we see Mr. Dubois and Warren at a table together, and they have like a newspaper that come out, and they open up to the special section, and it says, you know, Lucius lying, like fake or whatever else. So it's a story about he might not be who he say he is. So they're leaking information to the press to get him, you know what I'm saying, out of his comfort zone. And when the mom's like, this is only the beginning of it, you see Warren look like, oh shit, what did I do? I don't know if I really want to go, if I really want to go through this, um, or through with this. But it's too late now, bruh. You didn't did it. Um, so next we see they are at this prince and princess themed birthday party, which is Bella's birthday party, and everybody dressed up like Prince. I mean, I think this is a weird theme for a one-year-old birthday party um because i do um even with jamal performing you know let's go crazy as prince um they even had prince's sister his real life his real sister there at the party and you know i was just confused i, I mean i just i guess this was lee daniels his own personal tribute to prince um but you know it is what it is i'm just gonna leave it there um so, we see that Lucius is having flashbacks. He's back at home now. He's looking at these different paintings that's sitting around the room. And he's having these flashes of different things he's done over his life. And he's, you know, Claudia walks in like, you know, what's going on, Dwight? And he's like, I feel like, you know, he wants me to be this person. I don't want to be this person. And she's like, what are you talking about? And he was like, I can feel, you know, Lucius trying to break through and I don't want to be him. He's a bad person. I don't want to be him. And she's like, you know, even if you remember who Lucius is, it does not mean that you have to be him. Um, and she then said, you know what? I think you're at a crossroad. A crossroad. You, can I, you want me to help you? Come with me. I'm like, I told Cookie, don't tell this bitch. I told her and she told her and he got dang away. So they leave or whatever. Um, the next scene that we see is, um, wait, Oh, I forgot. You know, Andre pops up because, of course, he wasn't there earlier because he had his whole outburst. And he's there, like, you know, talking to Cookie. And Cookie's like, you know, we love you. You know, we know it's hard for you, but we are always here for you. And he's like, you know, I get it. You know, I'm thinking, I'm trying to listen to Pop a little bit about this whole positive reinforcement thing. And, you know, he's in a kind of a good-ish mood for Dre. And as he goes outside, we see Pamela, Officer Pamela, is out there. And he walks over, he's like, look... If you was going to arrest me, you could arrest me somewhere besides my niece's birthday party. And she was like, no, you know, I realized I've been out of line. I've been a professional. Um, he was like, she's like, but no, I saw in your file that today is the day that your wife, you know. And she, he was like, you send me the flowers? And she was like, yeah, I thought today would be difficult, so I just wanted to send you something. And he goes to kiss her, but he doesn't kiss her. He's like, you know what, let's go. And then him and Officer Pamela leave together. Who knows what's going to happen? So... Next, we see they're trying to open up Bella gifts, and they're like, where's Anika? Hakeem, like, we don't need Anika to open up these gifts. So they get to open it, and then who walks up? Anika. And who does she walk up with? Angelo. First of all, bitch, what did you do with? And they're like, what is he doing here? <coughs> She's like, I invite him. Now, he has a vanilla envelope in his hand. I'm like, okay, he's doing one or two things. He's even serving them with some kind of restraining order or some kind of custody battle with Hakeem. And sure enough, I was right, because I picked one of the two, and it was custody paper. So he, she is suing Hakeem for custody of Bella, saying, I'm not going to let your family ruin our daughter. And they like, after we let you into the family and everything, and she was like, well, y'all only, you know, would do so much, and then y'all just turn on me, so I'm protecting my own. My thing was, if it was me, I would have jumped over the baby, jumped over, over the table and yanks Anika ass because I'm looking like you really didn't have to do that. I mean, cause, but again, it's a dysfunctional family, so it is what it is. And to use Angelo is the lowest of the low because she know that they trying to get back at them. You know what I'm saying? She know that could turn Hakeem is involved in it too. <coughs> so that part is crazy. And the next or the last thing that we see is Claudia and Lucius who are walking through the streets 
up to the lion's the lion statue. And Lucius, you know, he can remember what was going on. And he's like, I can see myself. I look so scared, like a little boy. I look, I look so alone. And she's like, you never have to be alone again. And she's hugging him and rubbing his back. And she was like, you know, you never have to be alone. You know, never. You can change this whole outcome. You can just make a change right here. I'm like, don't do it. Don't trust her. And he was like, can you come with me? I'm like, this, bruh. And then, of course, it goes off. So, we see the next preview episode. Some things are going to happen. I'm not going to talk about it yet until I can see it in full. It does the good. So, like I said, this episode was really good. It was very entertaining. It's irking my dang on nerves. And TV shows that irk your nerves in a good way is a good thing. So, bravo, bravo to Lee Daniels. So, this is my review for Empire Season 4, Episode 4. And so, next time, people, I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner.